Ladies and gentlemen, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I now invite the Commission uh, to continue its general discussion of Agenda Item 3. In accordance with past practice, I want to remind all delegations one more time of the allotted time for statements. Statements on behalf of groups shall not exceed 10 minutes. You see there is a clock uh, on the screen that counts you down, so please observe the time limits. Um, all other statements shall not exceed five minutes. And as in past uh, sessions, the sound engineer, so it's not your chair, but the sound engineer will automatically cut off microphones of speakers after the allotted time has elapsed. So I'm asking you to respect the allotted time and to speak at a normal speaking speed so the interpreters can actually follow your uh, remarks and make that a, a, a faithful interpretation. The fourth meeting of the Committee Commission on the Status of Women at its 62nd session is now called to order. And I give the floor to the Deputy Prime Minister of Uzbekistan, Minister Tanzania Narbayeva. Minister, you have the floor. Madam Chair, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, may I most sincerely express our gratitude for the opportunity given me to speak at the session of the Commission of the United Nations on the Status of Women. We fully agree with the position of the United Nations as to the importance of gender equality and expanding rights and opportunities for women in order to achieve sustainable development goals by the year 2030. Today in Uzbekistan, through direct, open, and frank dialogue with the population, we are carrying out far-reaching reforms in all spheres designed for the further improvement of democratic institutions, the strengthening of civil society, and the enhancement of living conditions for the, our people. In this connection, we have raised to the level of state policy of Uzbekistan the following reforms. Adopted at the initiative of the President of our country, Shafkat Mirzaev, we have a strategy of activities for five priority areas for the development of our republic for 2017-2021, which give far-reaching and qualitative reforms in all spheres of society. Among the priorities are measures to enhance the level of education and economic activities for women their broad involvement in entrepreneurial activities and strengthening their role in government management and society activities and also further strengthening of this family. In this context, I would like to highlight the following measures. Firstly, the expansion of opportunities for women and, of course, in rural areas. In this year, we have adopted a decree of the President of the Republic of Uzbekistan on measures for the support of women in women in the Strengthening Institutes of the Family, which is the first such document adopted in the history of our country. Through a decree, we, we provide the realization of concrete measures designed to enhance the social and political activities of women, ensure their employment, and lend them comprehensive support in social, among socially vulnerable categories of women. Secondly, the reform of a system of education designed to achieve an enhancement of quality preschool and middle school activities. Uh, education. We have a practice introduced to encourage gifted girls through giving them various uh, scholarships and receiving higher education and in, uh, achieving their potential. Thirdly, an improvement of the reproductive health of women. This is an important step provided for in the decree of the president, which is the organization of a structure of family clinics and rural treatment centers for women's consultations, which make it possible to have consultations for girls and women who are in the uh, fertile growth. We, there is special attention given to preventive diseases, uh, to preventing disease and for a healthy lifestyle. Fourthly, the solution to problems of education and employment of women, and there are new measures being taken to create for them new workplaces with a higher standard of living. We have special banking lines open to give credits to support women entrepreneurs and also to enhance the practice of giving free legal advice and psychological assistance. Fifthly, the development of infrastructure in the rural areas. We have 
targeted territorial programs to build the, uh, the proper housing needed for those in need, and especially women who are handicapped. At the same time, there we have expanded the activities and uh, the access of women to information technology. And therefore, with the support of UNDP in Uzbekistan, we have a major international technological uh, competitive exam for girls in Technovation Challenge. This year, we have three times the improvement of the quality of these uh, educational opportunities as compared with last year. Bearing in mind the further trend in Uzbekistan, we want to further expand cooperation with UNDP and UN Women and other agencies of the United Nations. In conclusion, I would like to especially state that Uzbekistan fully agrees with the position of the United Nations that well-being, peace, and progress and development of any country is connected with the full integration of women in social and political processes. In this connection, one of the key areas is the adoption of joint and coordinated efforts among the member states of the United Nations. In this connection, Uzbekistan is prepared to continue with its close cooperation with the United Nations and its specialized structures, including the representative of the organization in our country, for further progress in gender equality within the framework of generally recognized international legal documents and norms. Thank you very much. I want to thank the Deputy Prime Minister of Uzbekistan and I give the floor to the...